And we're back. Yes. With our winter series. I just coined it. (laughs) (laughs) And we're going to finish our, or we're going to continue our conversation today in this Project Stories episode about uh, Anna Caroline. Anna Caroline. Right? And and that's, the way she spells that was with a K. Yes. So it's Anna K. 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 Caroline. Yeah. Caroline with a K. Caroline with a K. Yeah. Which is really, I think that's just a great name. And I think it's a great name too. I love the name Anna Caroline. It's kind of a Norwegian thing to have. Like Anne or Anna, like uh, Annalise, right? Or kind of yeah. like or yeah, a lot of lot of Annas, yeah, and yeah. Annes, yeah. Well, so so Anna Caroline, our your grandmother, my great great grandmother. Uh-huh. We're gonna talk starting about when she arrived in yes, and she North, probably North Dakota came to North Dakota in May then because. As you remember, she uh, they they came to Philadelphia at the end of April, yeah, and so they put them on a train. So sometime in May she came there. Well, <clears throat> it was a marriage. It was for a marriage or in resulted June, in a marriage. In June. Oh, oh, they got married oh, yeah. in June. June. They got June. Oh, so, so that definitely uh, in sounds one month, arranged. Or less one month. Yeah. Oh, should we show our picture? Yeah. These yeah. are the she two. She got married. These are the two uh, married folks. I was going to say lovebirds, but that might be a little presumptuous. Yeah. There yeah. they are. So, uh, sweet Anna Caroline and Sven Petter. Sven Petter. Hallberg. Hallberg. Oh, Sven Petter Hallberg. And mm-hmm. he was 20 years older. 20 years older. Or more, maybe 24 years oh, older. Wow. And he had 11 children so and that's, some a, of that's them, a good reason to get married and some <laughs> of them you know this how how could a 24 year old get herself into this i don't have no i have no idea but you know at those times if you're living with somebody like that you just had to get married yeah the so church, whether it church was would not permit yeah. you to not be married so who knows? I don't know what the story on that whole thing is, but she got married and she had a beautiful dress and a thing on her head and the yeah. whole thing. So yeah, it was a, a real it was marriage. A really, and yeah. his uh, Sven's previous wife had died, right? Yes, she had died uh, a couple years prior to that. Wow. So, so how did these kids had, even survive? He'd been surviving with these living children now. Uh, some of them were already in their twenties, oh. in their early twenties, and, and they she's were probably so yeah. they're the same age. Yeah, she was probably around the same age as they were. <laughs> oh my god, it's so wild, but not uncommon back then, right? Yeah. And oh yeah, I wonder, did you ever know if they like had like happy? Might not be the right word. Were, were was Anna Caroline happy in that relationship? Do you think, or was I, you pretty? Know, I you know just because I knew. All of her brothers and sisters, because yeah. those eleven were, you know, older, and probably I I didn't know very many of those. I didn't yeah. know a few of them. Yeah, but of those, oh, of, of the, the eleven, yeah, of the eleven. Yeah. The other weird thing about those eleven children that Sven Peter had is there was only one girl. Oh gosh, there were ten boys. Oh, boy. and one girl. Oh, I 11. really hope I don't have those genes. <laughs> So, but you know, in those days, they had big families because they had to work the farms. No, I mean and, that sounds like and, a good uh, working troop. <laughs> yeah, and so uh, it, to have that many boys was really probably a plus. Yeah, because then they could even go out and earn money and send it yeah. back because oh, immigrants do that. You know, right. they go to someplace else, earn money, and they send their yeah. money back home. Yeah, and that's what. They probably did. Yeah. But my my grandmother then uh, was situated with this and this farm in Adams, North Dakota, with uh, somebody 24 hours, I mean, 24 years older than she was. Yeah. And uh, they had five children together. And then they had five children together. And um, so the <laughs> one of them was John. I mm-hmm. met John only once. But uh, we had uh, Walter, which closest to my mom and 
His son is still alive. His name is Bob, and he lives in North Dakota, and I talk to him all the time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is he watching these great. videos? Oh, yeah. Oh, That's shout it. out oh, to yeah. Bob. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bob Hallberg. And so um, there was Walter. There was Shung. Shung uh, eventually uh, went into uh, Canada, and he had a bunch of kids. And so we have a lot of Canadians oh. that are also part of our family. Cool. Yeah. So what was his name? Shung. And it's S H A N G Shung. Oh. He was a riot. So what I, and then there's Agnes, was with my mother's really she was very close to Agnes. And then there was John. So of the five people, uh, I didn't know very much about that first family, but the second family were all full of kind of fun and good night. A, a good feelings about life, I think. They were mm. kind of happy people. Yeah. I, I don't know. And I think that was probably Anna Caroline's. Yeah. Came into that family. Can you imagine? They probably loved having Anna Caroline come <laughs> yeah. into Because they'd have somebody that would, you know, help. help them. Yeah. And, I mean, she was a midwife and a nurse. You go into a job like that because you want to help people and yeah, serve people. I can yeah, imagine that's a good, she was a great stepmom yeah, to yeah, have. Yeah. Wait, but where did Esther, your mom, where was she in those five she kids? She was the very youngest. She was the youngest. So, so, so from Agnes, eight, Esther. Yeah, so 18, 89, my mom was born in 1904. Oh, okay. So for that, you know, that was almost 20 years. No. Uh, 1889 to 19. Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, uh, so it wasn't boom, 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 boom. No, yeah. no, uh, uh-uh. and he was then in his, when my mother was born, he was in his sixties. Sven. Yeah. Sven. Wow. And he that's died. A, that's old for, and he died in, uh, 1916 and she was about 12 years old then. Oh, right. And so began. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so she, um, so my mom, uh, had quite a life on the farm. Yeah. Uh, with all these people. But the, but the thing about my grandmother, that's the most interesting thing is being a midwife. She actually delivered literally hundreds of babies. Yeah. And we had this catalog that she had made of all the names and somewhere or another, it got lost. Uh, breaks so my heart. Home, but because I saw it at one time. But okay, so you're the eyewitness. I that there I know was, there, there was, was oh, a yeah. catalog of, yeah, of the, all the, names. the mothers yeah, the and mothers, the babies yeah, and, and the, the dates, dates yeah. and yeah. potentially yeah. the payments. And and you know this was over a, probably a 30, 40 years. Yeah. I mean this wasn't she didn't go midwifing every day i mean she this was over a long yeah. long period but, of time but still even if that was like 10 babies a year that's still it's amazing yeah it is amazing and i think uh, how did this i remember when you were first telling us about this legacy which was only maybe five within the last five years that we've really mm. i've become obsessed with anna caroline right, and right. her one of those reasons why is this um What's her her legacy of not losing a mother, right? Yeah. Was yeah. that just word of mouth? Like no that she I, I, she prioritized the woman's yes. life, the mother's life when yes. in those times that might not have been the case because of religious reasons and whatnot, yeah. right? I, yeah, I I don't know how but I, I think in her own mind, the way my mother explained it to me is mm. that she just felt that there was these mothers were so important to the rest of the children uh, and the and their and to lose a mother yeah uh was just you know it was it was a horrible thing so she made sure that uh, all the mothers had and and you know she was a good mid- midwife i heard so she was yeah. just somebody that was very very technically uh able to do some the yeah. things that she needed to do and that like women like called upon her Yes. Right, because yes. they knew she was yes. a good one. Yes. But, you know, I don't think there was a lot of doctors around there. And yeah. There probably wasn't any other midwives, and they were in the middle of North Dakota. And so these, you know, a call would come in. I don't know how she was 
notified yeah. that the baby was going to come. Someone's because like riding a horse to yeah. like, oh, yeah. you know. So, and she'd be on, on sleds or, <laughs> on, or uh, you know, on, on wagons or horses yeah. to go to these places and, and then deliver she would, the baby and then, and then help ha- them. Yeah, help and them. stay there yeah. with the mother for a little while longer. Yeah. And yeah. then get paid. Yeah, that the, she said uh, once she got uh, a bag of what? kittens about <laughs> a bag of kittens i think i remember reading somewhere like like some flour you know yeah. like yeah oh yeah a bag of flour a bag of flour um uh one time she got 15 dollars. that's a bit that was a lot wow oh my gosh that would be a lot so she did this in service and yeah. she was very religious and she was very uh uh she was all about, you know, getting her church, uh, a new church up and running. So she was very involved with the church. What religion and was she again? She was probably uh, some type of a Lutheran. Yeah. And um, and and so, um, but even Bob says that when when her second, she after her first husband died, that she she married another guy about six later years later. And his name was Grove. So she then she became Grandma Grove to us. And at that time, uh, she was still working. Wow. So she was still, you know, at doing a lot of the the uh, midwifing. So after Sven died, she got married six years later to another gentleman. Yeah. Was that a was that a loving marriage? Do you think? Like, I why don't did know. It, why did of course, that? He was. He was dead by the time that guy was dead by the time I knew her because I I knew her in the 40s. She yeah. she died in 1947. And so she was about 82 when she died. Wow. I mean, that was a long time. Oh my gosh, that's especially a the long stuff, life. Uh, especially all the things that yeah. she c- accomplished in that life. Yeah, but anyway, wow. Bob, Bob was telling me that at night um when she lived with them after the second husband died, she went to live with Bob and and um, and his wife, Bob and his mo- dad and mom. And so he was just a little guy. And she, every night she had a bowl with um, uh, passages from the Bible in it. Yeah. In strips. And he'd have to go in and take the strip out and read it. And wow. it was always in Norwegian. Wow. But he says he doesn't remember any of the Norwegian now, but then yeah. they talked about, you know. That, that Bible verse. The Bible verse. Yeah. It and was, Bob, wait, Bob is her son. No, no. It, it was Bob's uh, uh, Bob's father. His name was Walter. Bob's, Bob was my, he's in his 80s. Yeah. So it, Bob's dad was Walter. And oh, Walter okay. was my mom's brother. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's confusing. Yeah. You're. Oh, so you're Anna Caroline's son, Walter, Walter and, and then his son is Bob. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So Anna Caroline went and lived with Walter. Yeah. Gotcha. The, la- and, and the Bob, last years of her life. Yeah, and Bob was there as a yeah. child. Yeah, when yeah. he was little. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, And cool. I was, you know, I met her about three different times. I think we went to reunions there. And I remember them having fun um, and chasing each other. And, and it was basically that those five younger ones. Uh, Shung was just hysterical. I mean, he would come to visit. And um, he would say things like that. Um, oh, I have to get back home, and I've got so many things to do. Oh, <laughs> and I always say, "Well, what you what do you have to do, Shung? Oh, I'm getting way behind on my solitaire. Oh God! <laughs> I mean, he was just he was just he was little, just silly. Little, was that silly or? Oh no, he quirky. was just silly. No, oh, oh, he was oh. just silly. Oh. I mean, he would say stuff like that all the time. He, yeah, he was he was very clever, and um, and what was Anna Caroline like at, when you met her at these reunions? Very quiet, very calm, uh, just kind of a small, you know, round person like my mom. Um, pleasant, but not 
outwardly dramatic like yeah. a lot of our people are. <laughs> <laughs> what, are what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was just... She yeah. had that. She still maintained that kind of stoic yeah. Norwegian uh, yes. thing. Uh, yes, that yes. This, that the Johnsons have surely lost. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know where that went. Yeah. <laughs> where was that place? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and she was always wearing, I remember you said, she was always wearing... Crendolins, yes. right? Which is that really traditional Norwegian uh, yeah. dress. She, yeah. She, when we got together, it was always uh, real fancy uh, dresses, and they were yeah. always the the uh, typical uh, dress that they would wear for for up, you know, if yeah, they went for, to weddings and stuff. Yeah. Well, and and what was your favorite or one story? Our favorite, well, one of our favorite stories. Well, about there's a lot of there was a lot of favorite stories and Denise hopefully will Denise will be able to come and share with us sometime but she spent a lot of time with my mom Mm -hmm. and um, and one of the things that my mom told me is that one time a guy came with a uh, I think it was a horse and buggy or it might have been somebody hauling something and came to the farm and um, the 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 horse fell down and obviously, was something was wrong with him. The horse mm-hmm. fell down. Well, the guy came out with a whip, mm. the, the owner of the horse, yeah. and started whipping him. Well, my grandmother, who was, I, I, because I think everybody in our family just loved animals, she ran out there, grabbed the whip, and started whipping him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... When you think about those da- days and somebody, you know, little like that coming in, I guess the guy was... I mean, he probably like, was terrified, honestly. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, this woman is, like, possessed or something. But um, but she was I just, just love that story yeah. because... Um, well, I, was, think, I think that Anna Caroline, throughout all of these things I've heard about her, is that while she might have been a little stoic and quiet, she was fearless. Yeah. I mean, she was going to load this boat on her own. She's yeah. going to whip this man who's mistreating a horse, <laughs> I right? Know. Like, I know. She's going to take on raising 11 kids and have five more. I'm, you know, all of these things yeah. that just uh, seems like it took a lot of guts. Yeah. And even my mom, who hardly talked that much about her past, would say things like at, at the dinner table, she would, and, and she's, you know, when you think about, uh, People on a farm, you don't think of anything fancy. But she always made all the food look good. I mean, it was mm. kind of like a challenge for her to make her plates beautiful. Oh, like, God. really? <laughs> That's so sweet. I know. So she's she was quite uh, individual. But yeah. nobody knows about that. I mean, she just, you know, passed away in the farm and... And nobody knows about Anna Caroline. Uh, and so I think that story is such an important story for a family to yeah. hear. Yeah. Well, especially when it's a, a big beginning of your, yeah, your line coming to America. Yeah. Right? And yeah. And I'm so grateful. Was... Well, sometimes I wonder what would happen if we were, we were all in Norway, you know? Yeah. <laughs> But I think ultimately I'm grateful she came here. Yeah. And you know, and definitely feel feels nice to honor her. Yes. In even just this little video way or Right. Yeah. yeah. And that's her story about Anna Caroline, my grandmother. And my great 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 grandmother, the original Bab. If Bad you ass. wanna <laughs> and if you wanna know what Bab stands for, you have to email us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I you know, I think we I think we did it and Yeah, in in memory of our amazing Anna Caroline. Yes, and thank you for listening. Thanks for listening.